Any anything you want to touch on before we start doing values? No, let's kick it to best value. Give me your best value first. Uh, we'll go. We'll switch off. We each have two. Yeah. So I start with Christian Javier. I think is the best value at pick one hundred and eighty. I think that that is mm-hmm. just way too low. Um, and I get why he's dropped down. You know, I think in part though, it's because the expectations were that he is going to be this next high end SP two kind of territory and he wasn't. And so I think when the expectations were so high and then he performed as not horrible, but it wasn't good for a while. There was long stretches where he was really bad. So I think people are just kind of like when their expectation wasn't met, they're dropping him down significantly more than they probably should have. Um, And I noticed already in, I know it's a super small sample, but um, just in the six innings he's thrown so far this spring, he's looked phenomenal and he's got nine strikeouts. So I think his strikeout rate is going to come back. Um, it's kind of weird that it dropped down as much as it did. He was over 30% in 2022. And then 2023, he was at 23%. So it was just kind of weird. I think it was just a weird year for him. I have no problem buying back in at that price at 180. Um, and again, I like to bet on organizations, especially when it comes to pitching. And the Astros are phenomenal. They mm-hmm. they know what they're doing. So I am betting on Christian Javier at pick 180. I think that is terrific value. I love it. I have Marcus Stroman. I see him as av- his ADP at like 227-ish. Again, I know we use different uh, formats for our ADP, but that's where I have him at. Mm-hmm. And again, this is a guy, if you're in a wins league, I think the Yankees will win a lot of games. And another guy who's to start spring just looks absolutely fantastic. And last year, he was one of the best pitchers in the league in fantasy until he got hurt. And so, you know, he got hurt and then he wasn't the same the back half of the year. I get it. And that's kind of been the thing with him the last couple of years is that he falls off towards the end of the season. and kind of maxes out at that 150 innings and then it's like you're kind of left with nothing at the same time if he can just get through a full season he's not going to be expected i think by i think he's a little underrated i think for where you're taking him you could get top value for most of the season even if he does fall off at the end which i know sucks because you won't have him for the end of the season which might be the most important part but um you know if if that's the case hopefully it doesn't but he you know, he would be one of these top pitchers going really early if it weren't for those falls at the end. So if he can just stay healthy for a full season at 227, that value is ridiculously good. Uh, And like I said, another guy looks great this spring. I think he's excited to be in the Bronx and he's reinvigorated by the opportunity to be with the Yankees. Maybe that propels him to one of his best seasons he's had in the last three, four years. Yeah, I think that's a good call. And, you know, at this price, you can't really complain and i would i would definitely be more interested in taking him in leagues where i have il spots yeah for um, sure because you might need one of those but i i think that's a good good call yeah that guy who drafted freddie freeman hopefully might need one too all right go with your uh your next best value pick he's gonna listen to this i think he actually might be one of the people who does i think in the league he he is going a listener he he will what's he will come after you his name is quentin q quentin yeah shut the fuck up quentin (laughs) all right go Oh, he's coming after you. I love it. Um, so my next it's not even value. it's Vince's fault, by the way. And then there's another guy in the league whose team name is Vince, and I was so confused because I thought that was you. And then you're like, I drafted Bryce Harper, and I'm like, What? No, you didn't. Yeah, no, that's um a buddy of mine who also named Vince. Tyler is his name. I do another podcast his with him. Team name is called Vince. Vince's shortstop. So I was a pitcher when we were growing up and he played shortstop and third base. Oh for my me. God. That's yeah, way so. too confusing. All right. Yeah. Continue. Shortstop. Um, did you already so, say the name? No, I did not because right, you keep it. cutting me off. What gives? Come on. Yeah. Um, well. <laughs> my best value is Aaron Savali here. My second one at pick 209. Uh, this is another, like I said, bet on an organization. What organization better to bet on than Tampa Bay Rays? And if we look, so Savali was traded in the middle of last year and he came over and he was a different animal. Like he was, dare I say, SP2 territory. Like he was phenomenal. And so I am going to continue to bet that that is legit. I I 100% think all of the the things that the Rays did with him are Um, legit. His strikeout rate. Betting on an organization, you know? Yeah. Uh, His strikeout rate went from 19 to 29%, which is like, incredible and he was just at a five percent walk rate so um and another reason why i think it's legit too is the rays did it with zach eflin like they're doing it with both of these guys so clearly they have some sort of magic sauce i don't know if it's mike's magic um 
what is it like yeah. Mike's special stuff right I don't know what it what it is but um <laughs> they have some of it there so I'm betting on Aaron Savali I think 209 is a criminally low the only concern would be injury um he's thrown 124 innings and that's the most he's ever thrown so again probably one of those guys that I would love to have with IL spots but certainly one that I'm not afraid to take yeah and then my second best value and just considering where I drafted him, that's what I'm basing this entire thing on, is Kevin Gosman. I think he is the most reliable, even when you look at Cole, even when you look at Strider. Strider's had injuries. Cole has had home run allowing issues. When you look across the board at starting pitchers, Kevin Gosman might be the most valuable starting pitcher, uh, or at least the most reliable, I should say, starting pitcher of all those top dogs. So if you get him at the end of your second or third, or in my case, end of the third round, and he's the 35th overall pick in the draft. I mean, this is a guy who could be top 20 pick. And again, I got him after guys like Zach Wheeler, after guys like Luis Castillo. And I love both of those guys. And those guys I definitely would have taken if they had fallen to me. But Gosman, for getting him four, five, six picks later, I think is incredible value. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't have much to add. I, I don't know if he would ever sneak into the top 20. And I personally prefer Wheeler and Castillo over him. Again, but 35 is, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, maybe I would take his, like, yes. But I have no if problem if Castillo still... was there. I'd probably take Wheeler, but still, I, I would have had, I would have had to think about Castillo versus, versus him. Yeah. I think, you know, there's no wrong answer between those three. It's just personal preference at that point. Or who do you want to root for? Right. Who do you, who do you enjoy watching? That's part of the fun of fantasy baseball. That's why no, we play. I don't enjoy watching Kevin Gossman at all. 